Hey Toy Addicts, it's Jody, and I have these fun little sets to show you that I picked up from somebody on Craigslist last weekend, and I thought you might like to see them. It's a set. Um, it's called Take Along Town. Each of them, it's all three of the sets. They're by a company called Arrow. I don't think I've seen very much from them. But it says, Take Along Town Boutique is really unique. It looks like a store, but open the sides and you'll find a whole lot more. And then I'm guessing each of them has their own little story here. Let's look at the box before we open them up. So that looks like a cute set. Oh, here's a bigger version of the same thing. So they're just like little doll houses, but then also they fold up. So let's see what they look like inside. Um, these are from 1984. Yeah, she looks like she could be from about 84. Her little bows in her hair and her sweater with the hearts. Yeah, that looks like 84, all right. <laughs> okay, since we... We're looking at the boutique. Let's start off with this one. And the boxes aren't in the greatest of condition, but that's okay. Um, so we've got oh, everything falling out. <laughs> we have a little pink car. Sort of looks like Barbie's Ferrari Corvette. I'm not sure. You guys tell me Trans Am, maybe? Camaro? I don't know. <laughs> I'd drive it, though. I'd totally drive that. Yeah. <laughs> We've got a little floor mirror for you to look at yourself when you're trying stuff on in the boutique. Um, there's a little clothing rack. That's really cute with the hangers. And then... We have a little cash register. I like that it has like this clear top here where you would put like, you know, jewelry or purses or other things to entice people to buy right before they checked out. Some of these things didn't fall out because they're stuck in there. This is some sort of, maybe it goes in the window you want to be city or tropical. So these weren't definitely weren't played with because these some of these things are still stuck in here. So here's our girl here. She could be the boutique owner or shopper, either one. She fits right in our convertible here. Well, not quite right in. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be driving around in a convertible with my head sticking out the top. That would not be great. And then next we have the mannequin. That is really neat that there's like a little mannequin. I love that. Cute little details for tiny little things. You know how I feel about that. So let's look at this carefully here. We have a revolving door. It doesn't seem to revolve really well. Oh, it's off its track. That's why. There we go. Doesn't like to stay on its little track. But we got a little revolving. There we go. A little revolving door. And it's got a nice shiny fascia here. It says boutique on top. And then the sides. So I'm guessing these were pretty inexpensive. It's pretty inexpensively made toy, but you can see, even though it's still pretty cute, um, but the sides slide in and out. They don't slide real easily. In fact, I can't get this one to slide at all. Oh, all right, there, I got it. So it slides in and you go and you have your little boutique 
and then for play, I slide out. It's not easy. I don't want to break it. It's pretty cheap plastic, and I think kids would get a little frustrated and it might end up getting broken. But there it is slid out. So you can see there's like um, mirrors here. That's maybe like your fitting room. And there's nothing inside there. But it's a sliding mirror. So you might have your... It didn't come with any clothes or anything. But your cash wrap up here your mirror there and your mannequin can go over here you can drive on by and whoo that's a cute outfit me, whoa did you hear that neighbors uh not just doing fireworks but blowing stuff up isn't that fun yay fourth of july time <laughs> Anyway, there's our gal. She's the right size for the counter and everything, so that's good. Let's see, how does this go? Maybe that fits there. Yeah, so there's our fun little boutique. And then let's see if we could put all of our stuff inside of it, because that would make a difference. On if it's really like fold upable. I did get the car in there too. And our girl. So it looks like you can get all of the little stuff inside. And then this is your little handle. Cute. Okay, let's look at the next one. We're going to save the ice cream shop for the end. Because that's the one I'm the most excited about. So this is Take a Long Town Farmhouse. Okay. And we have, looks like our same little girl is our model back here. She's just wearing a more farmy style of sweater with a little Peter Pan collar. Has a horse. Looks like there's two horses and a farm jeep and this one actually had instructions oh, it's got the boutique instructions too so I just need to put that in the right box so it's got instructions and a little parts coupon if you lose something Interesting. Little instructions about how to get everything in there. Okay. So let's start pulling stuff out here. I'm um, not sure what that's supposed to be. I guess we'll look at it in a minute here. We've got our little wagon that goes behind the truck, like so. I'll move you down here a little bit so you can see. Um, I guess we're supposed to put a horse in there. And the other horse is just going to have to walk. <laughs> Although he doesn't stand up on his own. He'll have to lean. How about that? <laughs> and then we have, let's see, what's this up here? This is, oh, that looks like a porch swing. And maybe a lounge chair. Okay. And then we have our farm girl. So it looks like the farm girl, and I didn't notice this stuck on the tape of the other one. Maybe it had it too. But the farm girl has a little stand so that she can stand on her own, which is cool. Cute. 
There we go. We'll put that horse who needs help in there. And the other horse. Oh, neither of them stand on their own very well. They should have had stands too, I guess. All right, then let's take a closer look at our little farmhouse here. It's got a cute little porch and a front door. Does the front door open? Oh, yes, it does. Cute. And then this side is a little barn. So I'm guessing little stalls for both of our horses here. Cute. And then that folds in. And that folds in. And then we have our cute little porched farmhouse. Super, super cute. So we've got our porch swing there swinging. And then we have an extra little chair here. Okay, so that's our whole farmhouse. Pretty stinking cute, I think. And again, guys, these will be available on my eBay store, which I have a link down below if you're interested in them. Um, there isn't anything else like this available. So if it's sold, I guess you'll have to wait around a long time until these come around again. But um, I think they're so cute. And then the last set you back up here a little bit is the ice cream shop which honestly I'm probably going to keep to display here in the shed in the cotton candy cottage <laughs> so here's our same girl again just with a different outfit some pastels okay let's see what she's got here We've got our instructions in there again which I think don't really need to look at. Pull that out. First thing we'll look at is our ice cream truck. Look at that. Oh my gosh. And it has an open in the back. And then we have stools for our ice cream table. Look at the little graphic on top. Let's see if you can see that. Cute. There are four stools to go around the table. Or little chairs. Like they have this little detail on them. Like old fashioned cafeteria. Cafe, not cafeteria. Cafe style chairs. And then we have our little ice cream shop attendant. She's got a little ponytail in her hair. She could also be the ice cream truck driver as well. We're not going to limit her possibilities in life. Super cute, guys. And look at let's look at the details of the ice cream shop here. It says ice cream and candy. Oh, look at that got a little awning that comes down oh my gosh I love it a little window and a little opening door this is probably supposed to be like a flower box here and then on this side is the candy counter and then this side says 25 flavors and you have all your little ice cream wow this one is much more detailed than the other ones I think and then to close it up, you just, and then lift that. But, oh my goodness, how cute is that? I love that. Definitely keeping that for in here. Oh, I even love the little scallops on the sides, the little cloud shapes. Love it. The detail on this is so cute. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Which one of these was your favorite? Did you have anything like this when you were little? Or have you ever even seen these? 
I've never seen these or anything really quite exactly like these. So I think they're really interesting and I'd love to hear if you've ever seen them before. And again, um, I'm going to have at least two of them available on my eBay store. If you're interested, make sure to um, check out some of my other fun toy videos and I will see you next time. Bye.